Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. Okay, um, I've been away <laughs> for about a month. I want to thank everybody who's been coming to uh, the channel and I'm still getting some subscribers. So thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my faithful subscribers that have been with me for a while as well. Um, I'm going to be doing probably just a few little sporadic uh, e uh, emails, videos, <laughs> um, just to sort of keep something up on my channel every once in a while. At least I'm going to be pretty sparse around here uh, through Christmas because, you know, when you work in ministry, holidays get very, very busy. And uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to be really busy. Um, so where I can, when I can, I might, you know, come on and just kind of do a tag or, um, you know, or something. And um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I can manage. But in any case, um, I'm going to be making a tag in, that's going to go into the Olivia Journal. Believe it or not, it is almost done. I'm so excited. <laughs> you have no idea. Okay. Um, so we're going to make a tag to go into one of the pockets that I had made. And actually you had seen me make the pocket, um, that was on here and before I go crazy here. Let me get my little cutter. I have to decide how big I want this, um, this tag to be. So I know I want it this wide from a scrap that I have. So I'm just going to mark that here. Okay, but how long I want it to be, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this down. So I hope everybody's been doing okay. Um, for the most part, um, and I'm sorry if I bang and the camera shakes, it's still attached to this table because I have no other way right now to attach it elsewhere so that if I move this table, um, you know. So I do apologize for any little jiggles. Hopefully they won't make you feel ill. Okay, so... Um, this is a pocket that I did to hold the tri-fold tuxedo pocket. Um, so, and this is the pocket you and I, you know, we've done this before. This pocket over here, I did add this little thing though, but I did want it to come pretty much, I hope I'm completely in frame here. Um, let's just say about here, because I do want to put, you know, something on top, little, I don't know, lace or, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. So I cleaned up my desk some because the last time I played around down here, oh my gosh, I made such a horrible mess. So it took me about 20 minutes to clean that up this morning before I got started on this. So let me just put this. I'm trying to be a good girl. I'm trying to put things back where they belong even as I work. Um, you know, this stuff's a work in progress. I'm just going to go ahead and ink this. And if I make any little slivery things, I'll just wipe them off my table. But um, every time I move, I have to reinvent the wheel because my space is different. And as you know, if you've been watching my videos, I came from a space when I was in Buffalo to it, which was pretty unlimited. I could just keep expanding because I had this huge empty basement and I could just, you know, go out and out and out. And it was awesome uh, here for the space that I did occupy while I was up in Buffalo. I have about a third of that now. Uh, it's very, very small. I'm going to say it's about, it's kind of L-shaped. So at its widest, it would be maybe about 10 feet. And then at its narrowest, it's about six and a half feet. And it's about 10 feet long. But it's kind of L-shaped. So it's weird because I have to avoid the stairs that come down into the basement. So I can't use that, that chunk of the room. I need to leave room for people and me <laughs> to walk down the stairs, turn around and get in over by our laundry room and where the furnace is and all that jazz. So, all right, let me just get rid of these things. Okay. Cause they always make a mess. No, no, put it back, put it back, put it back. Be clean. Okay. So this is a scrap that I had, I had made, um, for one of those other, these things I got it up here. Um, this was my, one of my other tag pockety things I made and, uh, I had used this someplace. I think I used it inside. Yeah. Which you can hardly even see, but it is, it's inside here, but that's where I had used this one, um, on these neat little, uh, hidden tag things that I did. Uh, put that back away so I don't lose it. 
so that's why the little envelope shape. I ended up cutting it down, but because, you know. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, make sure this is clean, feels clean, feels clean. I guess it's gonna be all right. I should probably refill it, but if I'm smart, I'll, well, I don't, I don't have to worry about my uh, art glitter glue because honestly, I use mostly um, the three-in-one or Fabri-Tac, uh, whichever one I can get at the better price at the time. And they will usually ship, I believe, all year, any time, at least for me. Uh, I do know the art glitter glue, they don't like to ship it or they won't ship it in the winter because it, the cold weather sitting in the delivery trucks or whatever, you know, where they're not heated or whatever, um, creates an issue with the glue. <clears throat> so, let me put this up here where I can see and hopefully you can see. So I'm just going to line that up right there and right there. And we're going to push that up to the top a little bit more. You know, I wonder, do I want it to, maybe I, no, nah, let's, let's just go with it because I didn't, I didn't ink this. So we're gonna go ahead and go with that. Now that I've pulled it and pushed it a thousand times, I do have a little bit of an edge, but that's okay. That is okay. So let's get our little card here smooth out for our glue. Okay. I found new scissors while I was moving. Um, where did I do with those other ones? This one. No, those were Well, it says paper. I'll use these. I wrote paper on these, but I'm going to try to see if I can go ahead and just cut along here. I'm not always the best at these things. I wasn't the best straight line paper cutter, see, uh, before I had my eye issue, now I'm even worse. So, but you know, I try to practice, um, trying to do, you know what, I can trim these with my little guys better, this part, because these are these skinny little blades, which I just love, and you can't get these scissors anymore. So, I've been searching and searching and searching for these really fine bladed, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut it with these. Um, somewhere I had bought those cutter bee ones, which everybody loves and they're good. They're good, but they're not as thin as these. And for me, this helps me to get right up against stuff. Uh, I can cut the tiniest little, uh, fussy cuts and I just can't seem to find blades that are narrow enough anymore. I lucked out on these and when I went to get back more, I couldn't, you know, went, went back to get more. I couldn't find them. So, um, yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and ink around this. I have a sort of an idea, but not really um, for this. So we'll see as we go. I wanna do a little like, I don't know, not a lot of, I can't do a lot of clustering or anything because the pocket is pretty deep, you know, and you don't want it to get too bulky inside the pocket or it won't, I'm going to just leave this here. It won't fit inside the pocket. So, um, these, this paper came from, I think it's called the Paper Farms. I think that's who, who it is on uh, Etsy Digital. And these uh, bird papers that I've been using here and there, these came from, I think they came from Rach and Bella, I think. I think that's where they came from. So the question is, what would I like to do here? Would I like to put something behind it? What do I have? That's not a behind it. I'm just looking at sitting over here. I know I want to put one of these clocks on maybe a label if I can find one. No, <laughs> I still don't know where most of my stuff is. So let's see. Um, what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? A cheesecloth. Do I want to, I don't have to do the, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Somewhere I have cheesecloth. Hang on guys. Let me find some cheesecloth here. 
types and colors. Uh, that's not cheesecloth. This is the thicker one. Uh, no, I have more somewhere, but let's look in here and see if there's something. And I don't generally have blue. So let me just pull these out, see what I've got. That's a little too bright. That's too green. Hmm. <laughs> I'm looking to see what goes. Nope, don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that. Nope. <laughs> That's more of that one. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. We're not going to do that. And since I don't know where my plain, thin, really gauzy cheesecloth is at the moment, I'm missing all my laces. I'm just, uh, I'm trying. I have this tiny little space and nowhere to really unpack in. So, um, all right, what else do I have around here? Um, I'm looking at little scrap bags. Oh, golly, 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 golly. Hmm. Wow. Here's some of that. Okay, that's good. This is a little scrap bag here. With all kinds of stuff. And here's some of that plain cheese cloth. Some yellow. Some of that stuff. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. That's cute. I'm going to put that over there. You see, I'm already starting to put things in places where they don't belong. Um, all right. I'm thinking maybe, 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 maybe a little bit down the side. Not all the way down. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? I left those scissors upstairs. Brits. <laughs> because I've been doing work up there. All right, let's see if I can use these. If these will cut for me. Oh, beautiful. All right, this still may be a little too big, but let's see what I have here. This was not the piece I just cut. But this was kind of hanging in there. I don't know, I think I want it a little longer. Little bit, little bit. You know, do I want it? Maybe I want to go over the top. Maybe I don't want it at all. <gasps> I'm so indecisive today. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm trying to think about that. I'm going to cut out a clock. And what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do this one. Honestly, ladies, I cannot remember where I got these from. I... <sighs> I think I know, and I can never pronounce it. It's like Ira something or Irma something. I'm going to have to try to see if I can remember to put that in the description box. I, I always say that, and then I'm always in such a rush to try to get the video up because I'm always in such a rush for everything. Um, then I forget to, to add in the names. And inevitably somebody asks me and then it takes me forever to answer them because I don't have the time to go back and try to figure out who it was. I'll get better at this. Probably by the time I retire. But yeah, I go pretty slow now with the cutting. I just can't quite look ahead too much. So I have to do this slowly. So I will admit the whole eye thing has slowed me down a little bit. Like, I needed to slow down. Well, I do need to slow down. In all honesty, I do need to slow down. I am um, trying to simplify my life, which is not easy. It is not an easy thing. I just thought that little bump, because that's where the, um, the rose petal pops out there. I'm going to trim. I can see a little white right here, if I can grab a hold of it. Trim that away. That's not too bad. Okay. Um, this is going to, this part's going to actually go inside the pocket. So I, I don't want to put like cheesecloth or anything. I mean, I might be able to, I can, if I really 
put a little bit down and I don't know, maybe I'll do it there. Maybe I'll just do it there. That sounds like a good idea. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. So I'm thinking about just sort of maybe little bits and pieces, putting that this way. And then I was thinking maybe some sort of a, I don't know, maybe not a label. Maybe I'll just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do I like that? I don't really want to cover the clock. I like that. Well, that's cute. Okay, and then... Hmm. Wondering if I just... I don't know. It's just not doing it for me. I don't know. All right, I've got a little box with thingies over here. Let me get this out of the way. <laughs> you know what this is? This is nothing more than when you get lace, ruffled lace. It works really, really good with um, when the lace is hooked into this gauzy stuff or sewn into this gauzy stuff with a nylon thread, because all you have to do is just snip it, uh, you know, at an end and then pull. And mostly for the most part, the nylon thread will come out. Um, and it separates the lace from the binding, which is this. Um, and then you're, you, you can iron your lace flat. It's no longer ruffled. And then you have this part. Now, I don't believe I dyed this. I believe I had lace this color. So this is all that is. And you can either iron this, open it up. Well, you put something over it or iron it on a very, very cool iron. And you can use it like ribbon. There's still, it's still folded over here, you know, like that. Um, or you could just leave it this way and use it as ribbon too. So you get flat lace if you don't want the ruffled and you get this really neat stuff, which I'm not using here because the primary colors here are the blues and turquoises, but it was in my little box. So that's just a little by the way, um, if you wanted to do that. Now why I'm in here is because I know I had some no blue um butterflies which i don't use very often oh it's a different one these are these were from uh my porch prints and these were from somebody else they're very similar but um i know that these were because i had used them in another I'm trying to see if i can find i'm looking for a blue butterfly because there's one on here and I, Pretty sure I saw one, either the same or similar. This might be too dark, right? I think, yep. Um, we have already played with that one. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Lord knows I have plenty of butterflies though. We've got more butterflies. I think the nature itself has butterflies. So, okay, I'm not really seeing one in here. Um, oops, okay. I'm not seeing one in this one. Right, let me put that back over here. And more, let's just work on this part. Um, Cause when I put, but I, yeah, okay. Was I thinking cheesecloth at the bottom of this though? Maybe. Glue it down flat, really nice and, you know, flat, flat. So it doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't come out. You know, it won't, won't lift off the paper is what I'm saying, you know, off the card when you take it in and out of the, um, you can move that down a little bit too. Leave a little bit more of that showing. Put that there. Put this here, like that. Nope. <laughs> it's not doing it either. Okay. Um, gosh, I just, I got it stuck in my head that I want to use a cheesecloth. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking maybe I, I will. I do need some sort of a label or something. All right, what do I have in here? A bunch of other little stuff. It's too big. Hmm. These I think were mostly photographs. This is something else down here. What do I have in this little packet? What do I have? Ooh, ooh, 
Ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I like that, I think. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I think I might have something here. I'm make sure I'm still filming. I am, that's good. I put in another lamp over here, but it's still not enough to counteract this nasty, um, um, what do I want to do there? Maybe I'm thinking of putting something behind here to give it a little more definition. I think that's what's bothering me. Is that what's bothering me? But what do I have? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> too many decisions. I've been out of this for too long. Um, all right, let me think, let me think. Because I'm trying to work with, you know, with what I know I can find, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm looking at the other side that it's going to go on. Hang on one minute. I'll be right back. Let me see if I can find something on the other side of my maze over here. Oh, 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 that's an idea. Okay, that wasn't what I had in mind. But I passed by something that I haven't found a spot for yet. All my tea bags. All my tea bags. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see. Nah. <laughs> oh my God, guys. All right, this is just not working for me today. It's just not working for me. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm opening my drawer here to try to find a clip. So I can clip these tea bags together so they don't end up all over my desk. I hear somebody walking. They don't know I'm filming. All right. You know, let me just go ahead and do it. Okay, let's try a little something here. I'm going to I'm going to bring this in just a little bit more. Maybe that's what I need. A little more definition. Okay. You know, when you're away from doing, I think, I think it's kind of a twofold thing. When you're away from doing it for a while, you have to kind of get back into the groove again. But sometimes when you're, when you're at it all the time, you start to run dry for ideas because you don't know what else to think of. It's pathetic, isn't it? You either can't think of anything because you've been doing so much or you've been away from it and you can't make your brain work. Yeah, okay, that helped. That made me happy. That made me happy. All right, let's get this down. Um, you know, or you're away from it and, and you can't, like, you can't get back into the groove of things you can't think. You don't, you don't remember what you have. You know, it's sort of like when you're reading a novel or something. Most of the time, if unless I can read it, like, almost continuously, I usually have to go back and read at least the last page from where I have to start so that I can try to remember where I've, you know, what what I was reading. Um, and I think this kind of works, at least for me, um, it kind of works the same way uh, where you just, you kind of have to, you know, back up and regroup. And I am so always away from this for so long, uh, which is not my desire, believe me. Um, but work is what it is, and I've got to be there. And sometimes it's seven days a week, and it's very long hours. And, um, you know, yes, this makes me relax. But sometimes I come home, and I'm just so depleted that I just, I don't feel like I could be creative enough if I if I come down here and try to do something, I, I feel like it would just frustrate me. Um, so, do I want to like, maybe I want to, I know I want to put this on, right? Oh, this is a neat idea. I can put a little bit under and over, maybe like that, because of the way the, hmm, that's kind of neat. I can get that down there. And they, this is, that's going to take a minute. Okay. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think, do I, I think I do want it all on. I don't want it off this way. 
think I'm going to put it all on there. I think I'm going to put the lace down, though. I'm going to go ahead and put the lace, like, right here. I'm going to do that. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I think maybe that might be a little bit for me. I don't want it to frustrate me. I don't want it to make me angry. I want to enjoy it. You know, the process, the creative process. And there's some days where I just can't uh, get my head there, if you know what I mean. Um, and for those of you out there who are either still working um, and, you know, you're not retired. Uh, I mean, it's not like you don't have your obligations. Of course, you do and your responsibilities. But um, maybe perhaps, at least I'm hoping this for my retirement, um, you can kind of more make your own schedule. I need one of my little dry, wipey things. Um, and and I'm hoping, please tell me, that more of my time will be my own <laughs> in retirement. Um, I'm so looking forward to, you know, being able to spend time with family and, uh, and um, you know, being able to do these kinds of things where, you know, it's, it's not somebody else telling me you have to be here and you have to do this and you have to do that. And, you know, at this time on this day, and I can kind of make my schedule, I'm hoping. Um, and um, yeah, okay. Now the question is, do I want this big one? Do I want to cover that like this? Do I want the smaller one? I don't know, where's my little package? There it is. Let's see what else I have. I'm not sure that that's the right colors. I'm not even sure it's the right size. So let me see. No, I definitely don't want that. Um, these all look too big. These are at the moment, I believe, my choices. Um, I don't. I don't know. It's too straight. Um, I think. I think I like that. I do think I like that. Um, oop, I dropped my card. Hang on a minute. Okay, knocked it off with my arm. Um, yeah, another thing I have a tendency of doing is putting everything in straight lines, and you know, I don't, I don't know about that either. Sometimes, um, maybe. Ooh, let's get daring. <laughs> let's put this up a little bit. And then maybe this this way. I don't know. I'm tipping the clock a little bit. And yeah, you know, why not? Why not? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I see. So I watch so many ladies when I have the chance and so many of them say, just do it. Just do it. Don't think about it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. So I'm just doing it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to overthink it, right? Okay. All right. I did do the clock. All right. Let's put this down. This is probably a ridiculous amount of time making a tag. So let's go ahead and get this down here. Yeah. So, oh, I, you know, I think I started saying before about getting more glue and filling up my bottles and stuff. Um, that I prefer the, uh, um, three in one or, uh, Fabri-Tac, which like I've said before, to me, seems to be no different. Um, either one works for me, but it dries, it holds the fabric, which is good. Um, but it dries, um, if, if you smooth it out, you know, take your card and kind of smooth it out. It dries flatter. Um, you don't have those glue lines that most other glues, including for me, at least the, um, art glitter glue. Now I've got a ton of art glitter glue, so I'm good with that. But generally I use it if I'm going to like put a butterfly down or something, um, something that's small, um, like the small flowers, the cutout flowers or something. But if I'm looking for something to, um, 
and I'm just gonna snip that end off. If I'm looking for something to stay flat, like like these, or you know, places to write or something like that, something that's bigger that where the glue lines would show, I don't I don't want them to show, so I use so I use mostly the um, the three in one, and just use the arc glitter glue for smaller smaller things um, where it won't you know when you do this that doesn't show through. Now, that being said, it's probably okay for some people because they use a lot of card or heavier papers. I tend to use copy paper um, for the most part. And then I just build up because my, if I need to or if I feel I have to for some reason um, because I don't want to uh, create a lot of bulk. I have a tendency to do too much. I can't curb my ideas sometimes. I, it's like everything has to go into the one book, you know, like like all the ideas, and which is ridiculous. And so, yeah, it gets a little, gets a little out of hand. So, um, I think we're okay here. So what I'm gonna need, if I can find one, is I've got hole punches, regular old hole punches. These are small, that's a small one. That's a teeny teeny one. Teeny, teeny one. I'm looking for my regular size. There we go. Regular size hole punch. I'm just going to go ahead and do that on here. I think it's regular size. It's close anyway. Uh, okay, it's eyeballing this. Okay. I'm just going to put a little ink around that and a little ink around that at the back. I don't usually do too many grommets, quite honestly, because I can't seem to grasp doing them. All right, so now I need a ribbon. What do I think about? I have, I have this, what's this? Come here, come here, come here. It's all tangled up. Okay. Um, it's not the same ribbon as what's on the other side of the page here. This is more green but it matches so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i think um i think i'll do i think i'll do a bow we'll do a bow okay let's see let me grab a piece here this is a little narrower um all right let's see go ahead this way I'm not gonna cut off the piece yet. I'm gonna try to make the bow first. Let's see, oh, I think I just hit the phone, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, we're gonna bring it down this way, I think, and try to tie a little bow. Um, that's the wrong one, that's this way. All right, what do I think? Do I like that? No. <laughs> Gosh, I'm a mess today. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna take you, only because this is a thinner uh, seam binding I had gotten from somebody. And uh, the color is, is good, but uh, it's too small. So let me see if I can find something along those lines in all of this ribbon that I have here. Um, oh golly. Uh, no, it's too turquoisey. Uh, what do I have down in here? <laughs> it's a periwinkle color. Nope, don't like that. I could pull out a pink though. What do I think about a pink? No, I don't want to really do a pink because I got the, ah, too many decisions. Too many decisions. All right. Um, I have every color ribbon you could possibly think of. Do you think I can find one that works? You know, I could do, I don't know. Um, what's this one? 
I'm trying to see what I think. It's too purple. That's too purple. Um, I'm just trying to see what I think. <sighs> Golly, too many decisions. I should have done this before. Oh, here's one I think that'll work. All right, hang on. These were little ones, just little packages that I had gotten off of Amazon. I've got these all mixed up now. Um, and I didn't realize, you know, because when you're getting other stuff, they come sometimes four yards, five yards, ten yards, or something like that. And these were just, um, these were just one yard pieces. like this one you know all right let's give it a try let's see what we think I'm trying to do this without cutting any ribbon you know so yeah I think it brings the pink out it goes with the other side it's narrow again so what do I want to do um, yeah, it's just a narrow, um, hmm. what if I, I know, I think I know, um, Like I said, I'm working within the parameters of what I have out. Um, all right. I was looking for a narrow lace, which I can't find right now. I don't know if I want to. No. All right, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut two pieces. Let me get a... Two pieces of this, about the same size length. Okay, that's about, about the same. All right, and we're going to put it through, I hope. <laughs> I'm going to try to get both of them through. Ah, beautiful thing. I'm going to open. I'm going to do a double bow, which is what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to pull that on through here. And try to carefully pull this up because it's going to want to, you know, you got to kind of ease it to get it all up without making a mess. And that looks good. We're just going to go ahead and tie this double bow. Ah, see? Now, that doesn't look too bad. Try to pull this side out a little more. I think that little bit's just a little too long. I think I like it better down here. Hmm. I kind of like that. I'm going to leave that for now. I'll look at it. I may come back to it later and say, absolutely not. I don't like that either. <laughs> so when you finally see the flip through of this thing, um, who knows what it will look like. But anyway, let's go ahead and put it in the pocket and see what we think there. And that goes in there. So that's next to this one. But it picks up the pinks. It doesn't have to all be aqua. It still goes together. And I kind of like it. So I think that's going to be it for today. I don't know how much of that was actually on screen, guys. I'm just looking at it now. Um, I probably was off screen a lot. Um, but anyway, so that's our tag for today. We're going to be done. Uh, 40 minutes to make a tag. I got to get better at this. But anyway, in the meantime, be happy and be safe, everyone. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.